Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a try on clothing haul for you. I've been doing a little bit of online shopping in Zara and ASOS and there's a few bits of Primark and sort of Andover stories in this haul as well so it's a real mishmash of things. So I'm just going to get started and show you guys what I have picked up. I can already tell that this haul is going to have a theme of dresses. I just just been going a bit crazy for the dresses recently. So the first thing I picked up online from Zara was this gorgeous red mini dress. It's in linen so it's nice and cool and it's got these really interesting shoulders that are like really right on the edge of your like shoulder. Um, so a very wide shoulder and at the back it's very square. Um, I just thought it was quite an interesting dress. I wasn't too sure if I'd pull off the colour because it's quite a sort of dark orangey red and that's not always the sort of red I go for. It's really cute though but when I tried it on it looked a bit big on me which doesn't normally happen for a small in Zara. <laughs> um, so maybe go into store and try this one on because it did seem quite like loose fitting but I kind of like that in a dress especially if it's going to be worn in like really really hot weather. So yeah that's my first little item. It's super cute. Next up we have another dress from Zara. This time this one is in like a midi, a very long midi length. Um, it's this green checked dress, again in like a really nice natural cotton fabric. I just can't deal with synthetic fabrics in hot weather. So I'm so glad that Zara are really into their like natural fibres this year. And then at the back they've just got these three little tortoise shell buttons which is really cute. Um, and then a tie belt. But the only thing that like, this was quite an expensive item I think, it was £40 um, and like the straps that hold up the belt are just a little tiny bit of thread. It just looks nice and rustic but I don't know how long that is going to last. <laughs> so it's also got pockets which is always a bonus. Um, I'm just not sure if I'm going to keep this dress yet or not. Um, I need to try it on properly and see what I think but um, yeah, it's cute. This next item I have a feeling it's going to be my favourite thing from this haul and it's like one of the most basic things. It's this open knit jumper from Zara and it's just quite long. Um, I got this in a medium just because I wanted it to be quite like slouchy and also it's in the exact same fabric as my Zara like fishnet long sleeve top and that sort of shrinks in the wash a little bit so I want this to last a while so I picked up in a medium in case it does shrink and it fits fine it's not really the type of thing that would have been a tight fit in a small because I think they've made it to be quite baggy but I just love these sorts of textures I just think layered up they look so good and I'm really happy with this so yeah it <laughs> I think it's perfect for like spring and summer when you don't want to wear like a proper jumper and you just want something a little bit more lightweight. It's just perfect. We're still going with Zara and the next thing I have is this dress. Um, it's in like a shirt material but it's in a smock style which I just thought was really cute because I don't tend to wear this sort of like shirt style dress. I bought so many in the past and just sent them back because I just didn't like them but I feel like if I were to like a shirt dress this would be the one I would like. But yeah, I'm going to try this on properly and see what I think, but I'm just not 100% sure on the neckline because I don't like things that come up really, really high on my neck. I like high necks like t-shirts and everything, but I think when it comes to shirts, there's just something about them that doesn't look quite right on me. <laughs> but we shall see. It's a cute little dress and it'll be good for like smart occasions. This would be quite a good dress for like an interview, I feel like. And then this next item I actually picked up a while ago. It's this little ribs top. Um, it's in a sort of like a nude creamy colour which isn't the most flattering colour on me but I just love the cut and fit. Um, they also did it in black um, but I didn't get that one because it was like $17.99 which I think for a little top like this is really expensive. But I got this in a small and I would kind of recommend getting it in an extra small if you're normally a small because the ribbing is quite like loose. so. If you want it to be really tight then I'd get the next size down that you usually are. It looks really cool like just tucked into jeans or like tucked into a bit more funky trousers sort of thing. I love like basics that are just basic but they have something interesting going on with them. Um, 
So yeah, really excited about this little top. Okay, this next dress I am also in love with. This is like another one of my favourite things from this haul. It's firstly, it's in this like blue colour, which on the website it looked grey. So when it came, I was really confused. Um, but I actually love the colour. I think it goes much better with my hair colour and skin. This was £40, which again is pretty expensive, but there's just lots of interesting little things going on with it. And the fabric is super nice. It's sort of like slightly spongy feeling, but like, I don't really know how to describe it. It's just a cotton polyester, but I don't know. It's, there's just something about it. I can't remember the name of this sort of fabric. <laughs> Which is really bad because I'm a fashion student. The cuffs are like really long and like thick feeling and they just feel really nice when you wear it. Um, and then it's got a little tie that you can put around the waist. And then the hemline is asymmetrical, which I love. I just have a thing for asymmetrical hemlines. One of my favourite dresses from Zara has an asymmetric hemline and I love it so much. I think it's quite a flattering look on your legs when you have an asymmetric hemline. For some reason, I feel like it just makes your legs look skinnier. Or it makes one leg look skinny, and then the other one's just like sort of hidden. <laughs> this next item, I'm really not sure about. I just don't know if I love it, or I hate it, or if it looks good, or if it looks bad. But it's this little like checked trench coat, sort of like cropped, cropped arms, um, and then it just goes down to like just below your bum. Um, which is a really nice length for a jacket, but I'm just not sure about the cropped arms. I just like hate arm lengths that are like cropped on jackets, I just think it looks strange. I need to try it on with like other things and see if it looks better with something like poking out under the arm maybe. Because it is a really lovely check and I think the check goes really nicely with my hair colour. We shall see, it was really quite expensive, it was £70. Uh, but then it is such a perfect little jacket for spring. Um, it's got a little hood so in case it rains you just got it there. Oh and it comes off as well so the hood can come off. Um, and it's got a nice collar around the front. And it is a lovely jacket, but I just, I'm not sure. Then the final thing I have from Zara is this little white denim cropped jacket. This is so cute. I think this will go really well with a lot of these check dresses I've been showing in this video. I don't have any white denim jackets. Um, and I don't have anything that's quite this cropped. This is pre-cropped. Um, I would have preferred it if it was slightly longer at the back. I just think it would have looked better on. Um, but I think it's really cute and it's just going to be a good little piece to chuck on in spring and summer. Okay. <gasps> now we are moving on to things from ASOS. The first thing I have, you might want to put some sunglasses on because they are a bit bright. <laughs> but it is this pair of very orange wide leg tailored trousers and I am obsessed with these. They fit so well and they just swoosh really nicely when you walk and they're also just super comfortable so like I literally can't rave about these trousers enough they do them in so many different colors most of them are like bright colors which is a bit annoying like if they were to do a black pair of these I think they would sell out so quickly but yeah I'm so impressed with these um, they were quite cheap as well I can't remember how much they were I think they were like 20 pounds like 25 pounds maybe but yeah I'm loving these definitely go and check them out online if you're interested in like wide leg trousers I will leave the links to everything else obviously but um, just think it's super cool this next thing is something that I've had on my save for later for ages because it's just never been in my size but I finally picked up and it's this little crop top from Puma um, it's like their sportswear crop and I thought it wouldn't have that much support but it actually has quite a lot of support for a sports bra that looks like this. I picked mine up in a size medium, which is a UK 12 for this one, um, just because I have really large ribs. <laughs> and I always find with like these sorts of tops, if I get a small, I'm just like, I can't breathe. <laughs> and it also caters really well for like my cup size. So I'm so happy with this. I think it's just such a pretty pink color. Um, it's really comfy sports bra. It's got this really gorgeous like crossover at the back. Um, and yeah, I really recommend this. It was quite, I think it was about £30, which I'd say is like the average for a sports bra. I'm really sorry if you can hear like banging on the door, or, like the window. There's builders down below and I just don't know what's going on, but I think it's coming from them. The next thing from ASOS is another basic white t-shirt. I think the ASOS t-shirts are probably my favourite t-shirts. 
Um, they just seem to last so long because they're like a really nice thick cotton. Um, this one is like in sort of a, com I think it said it was a kimono style sleeve on the website but it's basically not got the seam there but um, yeah it's just really lovely on actually it's such a nice shape. Um, I just picked it up in a size 8 but if you want it a bit more oversized then maybe size up. Great little basic. I used to get all my basics from Zara but now I feel like they use slightly strange fabrics in their t-shirts um, so I just want like something nice, easy and cotton and ASOS does the job. Then the last thing from ASOS is this Adidas sweatshirt. Um, I don't own an Adidas sweatshirt and I've wanted to for ages and then ASOS were doing their 20% off um, weekend and I was like I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> so yeah, I picked up in this really gorgeous like nude colour. Um, it's quite an interesting colour but I just thought it would go quite well with all my colour palette because I'm quite like a light person. I don't tend to have that many dark things in my wardrobe. Um, so yeah, really happy with it. They come up a lot longer on the body than I realised, um, which is quite interesting. I guess it's good for like if you're wearing leggings and you just want something that covers over the bum, if you know what I mean. I love the colour. Um, it definitely looks better when I have a little bit of a tan because sometimes if I'm pale and I'm wearing this it can look a bit like I'm a bit dead but <laughs> um, it's definitely worth holding out on ASOS for days when they do their 20% off for getting things like this that are normally like a bit more expensive because you can definitely get a better deal with that but then again there's always student discounts so you know. So finally I have two more things and both of them are yellow which is just very strange. I really can't remember if I've shown the second thing in a haul before um, but we're just going to go with it and think that I probably didn't. <laughs> but anyway the first thing is this skirt from Primark. I thought this would go really nicely with the Adidas sweatshirt just like have it poking out the bottom a tiny bit. Um, I sized up in this, I'm normally a size 8 but I got a size 10 in this because size 8 was just a bit like, you know it like squishes your bum in and it's just not a good look. <laughs> um, so yeah, I got it in a size 10 but it doesn't fit that nicely around the waist, it just sort of like, the waistband just sort of sticks out a little bit. But it's cute, it was like £8 from Primark so I like it. And normally I wouldn't wear this sort of colour but because it's not right next to my face I feel like I can get away with it. <laughs> and then the final thing I have is this gorgeous yellow dress from And Other Stories. Just goes all the way down. Again, I'm not sure if I've shown this in a haul before. I may have, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, super cute. I got this in, I had to size up in this again because the slip underneath was too tight. I feel like the world is trying to tell me something. <laughs> but yeah, the size 8 was just really tight on my boobs. It like just made me completely flat chested. Um, but yeah, I just sized up and got it in a 10 and now it fits fine. Um, so yeah, it's really cute, really flowy and just pretty. Um, really easy to wear on like a hot day. So I'm really excited to start wearing this. So that is it. Those are all of my new in clothing items. I really hope you guys enjoyed this haul let me know in the comments down below which item was your favorite 